The Lord is above everything. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this day. We bless your name, Jehovah. You are above everything. Lord, we say thank you for this wonderful day once again. We lift up our hands in appreciation, Jehovah, Lord. Father, we know that this day, Jehovah, we are winners, more than conquerors in Jesus' name. Father, we pray for this ministry, Jehovah, Lord, of today. May you, Jehovah, Lord, be with us and open heavens, Jehovah, on our behalf in Jesus' name. Father, if Peter could pray, Jehovah, Lord, on the rooftop. Father, Lord, we go above everything, Jehovah, above our matters, Jehovah, Father, so that you can render the heavens, Jehovah, Father, above our lives in Jesus' name. Yahweh, we pray for this wonderful time that you are going to speak to our hearts, Jehovah Lord, and transform our souls, our minds, Jehovah Lord. Father, we pray. We know, Jehovah Lord, that what is coming from you, Jehovah, it's coming, Jehovah Father, to nourish, Jehovah Lord, our lives in Jesus' name. Speak to us in Jesus' name, we pray and we say, Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are taking our seats. And you take your notebook and your Bible. Today we will teach. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise, the, Praise Lord. the Lord. Hallelujah. We have a few minutes to go, but we have to understand why we are here. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Greetings to everyone and also greetings to you all from my mother. I call her my commander. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Greetings from my mother, Prophet Mwaka, and the Apostle Dad, Apostle Darius. Hallelujah. Praise I'm blessed Lord. to have such parents, to have such a great covering. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise you don't like my spiritual covering? <laughs> huh? I can't see you clapping for my parents. Hallelujah. <laughs> spiritual covering. Amen. Amen. Under this roof, we only have one father and one mother. Hallelujah. Praise that is Jesus Prophetess Lord. Mwaka. And also greetings from our pastor, the psalmist himself, Pastor Danny. He's on the copper belt. He was supposed to be with us today, but he says next Sunday, whether we like it or not, he will fall in. Hallelujah. Praise and, and you know, full force. Hallelujah. We love him so much and he's following us live on Facebook at the moment. Amen. Amen. So greetings to everyone who is here. If you're here for the first time, we are Fresh Aroma Embassy Church. And we are a church that believes in the power of the Lord. Hallelujah. Through teaching and also forming and also discipling people. Hallelujah. When we commit ourselves to seeking the Lord in a regular basis, through persevering and prayer, hallelujah, Praise diligent Lord. obedience and sacrificial giving, we will experience the, the events that will open upon our lives. Hallelujah. Praise hallelujah. Praise I Lord. want you to write down. When we commit ourselves to seeking the Lord on a regular basis, through persevering prayer, diligent obedience, and sacrificial giving, we will start experiencing an open heaven from God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are we writing? I'm quick. Are we writing? <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Sorry, I'm a journalist. Mm -hmm. When we commit ourselves to seeking the Lord on a regular basis, through persevering prayer, diligent obedience, and sacrificial giving, we will start experiencing an open heaven from God. Are we together? <laughs> we are not there. Let me start again. When we commit ourselves to seeking the Lord on a regular basis, through persevering prayer, 
diligent obedience and sacrificial giving we will start experiencing an open heaven from God are we together now are we together now are we together Praise the Lord. And my message for today, it's something that is entitled, The Three Keys to an Open Heaven. The Three Keys to an Open Heaven. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Three Keys to an Open Heaven. The first key that we are looking at Hallelujah. And this is derived from Isaiah 64, 1, 2. Hallelujah. Persevering in prayer. And when we look at persevering, I want you to look at the book of Isaiah 64, 1 to 2, and we are rising on our feet to read the word of the Lord. Isaiah 64, 1 to 2, and let's read the word of the Lord. Isaiah, the Bible reads, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that you would rend the heavens, that you would come down. Just there. Yeah. Oh, that you would rend the heavens. Oh, that you would rend the heaven. Rend. If you are writing, rend, put it in bracket, means open. To rend, it means to open. Hallelujah. Rend. In the supernatural, to reign is to open. Hallelujah. And continue. That you would come down, that the mountains might shake at your presence, mm -hmm. as fire burns brushwood, as fire causes water to boil, mm -hmm. to make your name known to your adversaries that the nations may tremble at your presence. Amen. And Amen. let's take our seats and we clap for the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise that you would open heaven. Hallelujah. And Isaiah, the Bible declares to say, reading is to open heaven. Hallelujah. And when open, heaven is open, the mountains will shake. Hallelujah. When the heavens open, your problems will do what? Your problems will shake. Hallelujah. Don't seek for attention from the enemy without knowing that when you pray, you persevere in prayer, God will open the heavens. And then the mountains will shake. And the water that was calm, stagnant water, will boil. Hallelujah. And the name of the Lord will be known to them all one. Because the heaven is open. <coughs> Hallelujah. Persevering in prayer. We are looking at perseverance. <laughs> Hallelujah. You don't leave them until they bless you. You don't leave them until they accept you. Brothers can say amen because they understand this. Amen. Hallelujah. Even when someone says, I don't like you, but you still go after. Ask my wife, she knows. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ask her. When you say persevering, she says, no. I went through until she says, yes. 
Hallelujah. Persevering is not today I've given up. Maybe tomorrow. No, I am fragile. Be fragile with yourself, not with God. Amen. When you want heaven to open, you are not supposed to sit under a tree and waiting for God to come and shake you. It's you to go and look for him. Hallelujah. Amen. We need to, to be angry for God, not for angry lion. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Not to have anger for something else, but you have. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. To not only needing someone, sometimes you need someone, sometimes you, you, you want them. There are two different things. But to persevere, it's why you sit there on your post, waiting according to the promise. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Persevering in prayer, Anna went on her knees day and night seeking God to open her womb. Not to show the enemies to say, I can also give birth, but to bring a testimony and also change the generations. Your blessings is not coming to shake the enemies, but to make the name of the Lord well known. Hallelujah. And the Bible declares, when he opens the heaven, the mountains will shake. Do you know that the Lord is the only one who can level even the valleys? You just find that somewhere there is a road. I'll give you an example of ring road. It was bumpy and whatever, people could not pass. And they said, we'll make a road. Until now, it's still uneven. But of the Lord, God cannot make your life uneven. Amen. When you seek him, when you persevere in his presence, the Lord will come through for your life. Amen. When you sit on your post, Habakkuk says, I am on, I, I'm on my post waiting on you, God. Which post are you at? Where are you? You are in the right place at the wrong time. Nothing can work for you. You have to be in the right place at the right time for the best thing for, for your life. You can't persevere with the wrong person. Hallelujah. You can't persevere in the wrong relationship. You will die. No, kamchinja. Kamchinja. Until you die. George, you are laughing. <laughs> I said this message is almost for brothers and youths. Hallelujah. To persevere is to go after something. Not going after something and you leave it. But going after it until you conquer. Amen. The Bible calls you to say you are more than a conqueror. Victorious. A victor is not someone who leaves the battle and run away. A victor is someone who goes back with the head of the enemy. David did that. To persevere. is to commit yourself. To sacrifice your ego. Until you get the best. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There are things that are regular. And things that are normal to you. Sleeping is normal. But dying is not regular. Hello? Sleeping is normal. No, I'll sleep at 19. Yes, of course, it's your time. But do you think the dying is regular for you to die at 19? Eh? It's different. So we have to persevere to seek the Lord. To follow Him. There's a man of God who did a song saying, I seek, I see the Lord. But most of the people understand only I see the Lord. Hallelujah. You have to seek him for you to see him. You can't see someone that you don't seek. Not seek here, S-I-C-K. It's S double E K. Seeking to see the king. 
Esther persevered until people were delivered. Hallelujah. What are you following? Where are you committed? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The first key. As we are persevering, we have to be consistent. Consistency is the best in whatever you do. Even in business, when you have a brand, that is not consistent. You will be washed out of the market. Amen. Praise the Lord. Banamao la nelko winu amen. Banamao la nelko amen. Consistency is better. If I say, baby, I like if such. And it's co consistency because I like it. It's the market that you are trending to my life. Hallelujah. <laughs> but if you you want to be keeping different things, consistency is better, especially in the business world. Hallelujah. You are selling with other people, you have to be consistent. Consistent, I mean. Hallelujah. The Bible says God will open, He will render the heavens. How many things are in heaven? Your marriage, your business, your breakthrough. Everything is in heaven. And then when God opens, what are you going to receive? Everything from him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What we need is to be consistent in prayer. And the Bible says, pray without ceasing. Ceasing goes again to commitment. Commitment again goes to where? To consistency. You have to be consistent when you are praying. Don't pray today. For this request, tomorrow you jump to another one. Just pray for one request. Tell God, open heaven on my life so that I may see your glory. Living in the glory of the Lord, everything will change on your life. Say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise, Praise, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If God can open the Red Sea, how can God fail to open heavens on your life? Hallelujah. And the Bible says the highest heavens belong to him. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that you would render the heavens and come down. Heaven will not come down, but heaven will come and kiss earth. Hallelujah. And the Lord himself will come down. The Bible says the highest heaven, that's where God is sitting. And his, his feet are here. So I don't know. Imagine why Punka fe mkulu kwa kwa lesa. Hallelujah. You are just driving at now Punka mkulu. Hallelujah. And God says, ah, I'm a boy now Punka. Where are you going to be taken? Which rat, ratsa will come and use the judge you? No one. The glory of the Lord and his love endures forever. When you persevere, his love will be on your life. Hallelujah. Anna was insulted, but she persevered on her knees, waiting for the prophets to be born from her. I don't know how many people will understand the story of Mary. We don't know what, what used to happen. But the problem that Joseph went through is that he was believing, he was thinking to say, no, maybe people are talking because... I'm just with this woman who is my fiance. We are yet married, but she's already pregnant. Now imagine with the social media that we have today. How many people are going to post to say Mary is pregnant for Joseph? Joseph is not the father. No, let's share. Even Papa Church, even the members, the family members could share on Facebook and WhatsApp. Some will even make the memes katwish just to show that. But Joseph persevered to say. For the angel spoke to me, I am, and I am favored. We are favored to have the life that we have in the Lord. Amen. Stop looking at who is talking. People will talk, naysayers will be there. But when you persevere, you get the, the best price. Amen. Your heart should be on the price, not on the pain. Amen. Hallelujah. When a doctor is operating your life, your body, the doctor is not feeling the pain, not even 
feeling messy, but he knows that when God comes through, you'll be healed. We can take you to China, India, any hospital. But what you need is the intervention of the Lord. For God to render the heavens, which means it's Him intervening in your life. Just believe in God that God will give you the best today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In the scripture, I'll repeat again, the word render is to tear. Hallelujah. The curtains were torn. Hallelujah. And the heavens opened. And then there was a darkness that came for a short while to cover the glory. Hallelujah. So now when someone asks you to say, how can God react when I obey him? Obedience is better than what? Obey the Lord and get the best from him. Hallelujah. No matter what you go through, don't leave God behind. Na chumwango tuwalala nda, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In your intercession, the first thing, don't pray, Father, I tear down my enemies. I destroy them. No, never show now. Today I send them to the left. Tomorrow I will send them to the right. Just tell God to say, open the heavens. And le kenya valuani wakse shani. Hallelujah. Lord, na kunta ba enemies. Wala ba kunta mkuinga. Hallelujah. Actually, how many times are you going to kunta them? And at the end of the day, you'll be disappointed with your prayers. No, God is not answering. Because you are positioning yourself on a wrong side and then praying at the wrong time and then Wanting to receive at the right time, but you, when you are praying, it was the wrong time. Start praying at the right time. Position yourself when you are persevering. Hallelujah. And I was on her knees, not in the market on Facebook. Lord, there are, there are people that are surprising me nowadays. Even praying their life on Facebook. I pray for my marriage. Who told you? Who is compassionate about your marriage? Persevere in the secret room. Hallelujah. When you are persevering, have a secret. Hallelujah. When the enemies know, when the enemy discover your strength, then you are gone. Hallelujah. Do you know why Peter went to pray from, from the rooftop? One, Peter was hungry to eat. He wanted to eat that. And then he went to pray from, from the rooftop. Today, can some his uh, Robert go on the rooftop to pray. Who think it's suicide? Hallelujah. The rooftop may be your corner in your house. Hallelujah. How have you positioned yourself? Peter saw the heavens that was open for him. And he saw a vision. What are you seeing when you pray? When you start praying, that's when you start remembering things. When you start praying, that's when you, when you are praying, you hear a voice. Someone telling you, no, Tauladia, if you have a Vishupa, there's no food in the house. Just review, continue praying until God opened the heavens. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You will not die when you pray, you forget about everything but believe in God. God is a God of solution. Hallelujah. Your well-being is in the Lord, not in the enemy's hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'll be very quick here so that we move. Amen. Praise the Lord. When we read in Deuteronomy 28, verse 1 to 14, if you fully obey the Lord, your God, and carefully follow all his commandments or all his commands. I give you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations on earth. If you fully do what? Obey the Lord and all his commands. Hallelujah. When you obey him fully, 
There are people who are obeying rules of this nation, but not fully. But the Bible says when you fully obey him, but which means you have to stop lying, you have to stop everything that you think is bad, and that you know that is bad, that you know that is dragging you to the corner to destroy you, and then the Lord will do what? He will give you, hallelujah, he will set you where? Huh? Hallelujah. I above all the nations, not one nation. And then the Bible says, I will give you nations. It will set you high above and then give you those nations. Praise the Lord. Amen. What we need is to obey him. What we need is to persevere in prayer. And then what we have to do now is to give sacrificially. Praise the Lord. I know here so many people will be very quiet because giving is a problem. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise Diligently giving to the Lord in a sacrificial way. Abraham accepted to give diligently, saving him in that same manner. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Have you seen that when you obey God, when you follow the Ten Commandments, what happens? Let's start from the first commandment. First commandment is what? We are here, we are together. Praise the Lord. First commandment. Huh? I want to hear you. Second. Love. This commandment, is the, the, the one you are saying, love your neighbor as you love yourself, I discovered it when I was only young, before I even knew the church, because of our uncle, who just knew to say, I'm loving my neighbors, I'm loving myself. So we knew it that way. Hallelujah. So the third one. Hallelujah. Huh? I'm getting you. And then the other one? That one you know it because on Saturday you love eating. And then the other one? And then the last one? <laughs> I know, they are ten. Seven, eight, nine, uh -huh. and the last one. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. From all the commandments, everything is taking you back to be committed to God. Amen. Everything is taking you back because you can't commit yourself to someone that you don't perceive, you don't follow. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Even in whenever you love someone, you have to follow their rules. You have to follow whatever they say. You have to communicate with them. You can't communicate with another person when you are in love with someone else. To say, no, I love you and you love this, this side. And then there's that commandment that comes to tell you to say, you shall not do prostitute. <laughs> Adulter. But our generation today, we have reached to the level whereby we take adultery as fruit. And then eh, the commandment as bitter. Hallelujah. We are a generation that we don't accept the commandment, but accept to obey the commandment of saying, you are stopped, you go that side and then you come back and then we get that, the commandment and say, oh, I remember now the Bible says I shall not do this. Hey, Melissa, forgive me. Your mercy endures forever. And then we get back again to that. And God is looking at us. God is watching. And judgment will catch with us one day. When we were born, we came alone. Even when we were born as twins, we still came alone. Same hospitals, different times. 
Even if it's one minute, but it's different time. Oh. Oh. Hallelujah. Amen. When we, peace, we persevere in the Lord, we are not pissing him off. We are following him. And that is the desire of God, to have you on his side. Hello? God is waiting and looking at the Son of Man who is searching for him. The Bible says he's waiting and looking at the Son of Man. Means woman and man, everyone is under one, but searching for God. Let's search for God and persevere in searching for him. Amen. Sin today has made us to even move away from the three keys of open heaven. Are we together? Yes. We can't persevere because sin has become so sweet. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We can't persevere because we, we, we pursue things of this world and say, no, maybe these people are just lying to me. One day, judgment will meet with us. Oh. Hallelujah. The Bible forbids you to love the world, but love God's people. But what we have done is now to love the world. And the, uh, God's people, we hate them with passion. Compassion, I hate this sister. I can't even speak to her pastor. Hallelujah. And then let how someone is even in tongues, Rondo Bakata, Rikato, Rondo Aishupa. <laughs> and I chula. Everyone when they come, especially over Zeus, Rondo Rabata, Rita Ru. Rita Wabin and I carry no Rondo Tatumishi. And then busy again you come to Jesus. Mungale Mane Santa Mama na Longa. Mule longe puna mule machana machan. And then obey the commandments. We leave the commandments and sitting. God is looking at you. Hallelujah. Christianity is not when to remuchin to win. Christianity is when you are walking along by the corner and then this brother comes and say, hey, hi. And then you just look back. Hakale. Bale shempama. You know, he said, give me a WhatsApp number. I'll call you later. I'll tag you. I'll inbox you. Hallelujah. Are we together? How dare me? Are we together? Those that are not on WhatsApp, don't worry, it will come. It's got its own time. Christine and Christine, they are sitting together today. Hallelujah. It's about time to obey the Lord, to follow his command. Hallelujah. God wants you to obey him so that he may open the heavens. Hallelujah. Is the only of all is can God sit down where there is nothing that interests him? Hallelujah. The Bible says, Do you know that you are the temple of the Spirit? Discovering and realizing that you are the temple means you have obeyed God. Hallelujah. Are we together? Are we together? My conclusion so that you can write down. Hallelujah. Our conclusion. Sacrificial giving. Acts 10. 1 to 6. Sacrificial giving. Cornelius prayed to God one day about 3 in the afternoon, 15 hours. And he had a vision. He saw an angel of God who came to him and said, Cornelius. And Cornelius started at, stared at him in fear. First of all, there, there was fear to see the angel. But someone will come and tell you, I saw the angels. And this person is telling you, not that I'm so so. He said, I saw the angels. And then the angel was shining. You just wonder, even when they saw the angel. Hallelujah. You can't meet, you can't have an encounter with God and remain the same. Which means we are somewhere. Hallelujah. Cornelius, first of all, he was well positioned. And then he saw a vision. There was a vision where the angel appeared. Two things. You can't have an encounter with God and remain the same. Hello? Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. And the angel answered, Your prayers and gifts to the poor have come up as a memorial offering to God or before God. What you have given to the poor, it's not a show of. It's a memorial offering to the Lord. Just wait. The angels are about to appear to your life. They may not appear as angels with wings, but angels come in different ways. God may send a prophet to confirm what you gave, even in 201, even last year. Just wait for your time that is coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your offering is not coming to the king. It's not going to the pastor. When you give in a sacrificial way, it goes to God himself. It goes up to the Lord. When you are giving in church, you are not giving to God. There are so many people who are blaming Pentecostal. No, but Pentecostal Have you ever given for you to say no, but Pentecostal Hallelujah. Giving to God is not giving unto man. A father, the owner of a son, the rightful owner was asked, give me your child. And he accepted to go and give. And what happened? God gave him the generation, including you. You are his generation. Because of obeying the Lord. Sacrificial giving is only sensed by God. Hallelujah. Don't give and start crying. No, I gave the pastor, I gave to, to church even my rent. So now here I am, I've been chased out. The Bible forbids you to give like that. Give when you feel you can give. Sacrificial giving. Hallelujah. And Malachi 3, 6. To ten, bring the old tithe into the storehouse that they may be full. Hallelujah. The church is the storehouse where you may bring your tithe. How many are bringing their tithe? How many? I want to hear you, me, me. Hallelujah. My tithe. Hallelujah. My house tests me in this, says the Lord Almighty. And see if I will not throw. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God wants to pour, to pour his love on, uh, on you and me through our giving. Hallelujah. Giving to God is beneficial. It's not giving to man. Hallelujah. <laughs> giving to God is beneficial, but not giving to man. Amen. I want you to do this. Hallelujah. From this. One, two, three, four, five. Right? We have how many faults in ministry? Five. How many? Five. And then how many? We have five for Zion. And then how many commandments do we have? Ten. ten. We have ten. So now I want to take you back. From the first commandment to the fifth one. Can you recite from the five to ten? Where you start from, God is still commanding you. Where you end from, God is still commanding you. God is not recommending you to say, no, even if you don't give, I'll forgive you. He's commanding you to give him. Hallelujah. He's commanding you to respect the rules, the laws. Hallelujah. He's commanding you, he's forbidding you not to do what is not right for him and for you. Is adultery better? And what is God saying? He's forbidding you to do that. Because he knows it's not better for you and for him. So you can't 
pursue someone who is not good for you. You can't follow someone that you don't understand. You have to be in contact with someone, right? For you to follow them. It's not like Facebook whereby you don't even know someone just send a request. Uh -uh. That actually ended. It started throwing out people that we never knew. If you don't meet them, you don't know them, throw out. Delete, delete, delete. So now what I'm doing, I look at my friends. If a, a friend comes from uh, the Dimwakoi, and then that friend is a friend to my wife, is a friend to this one, is a friend. Oh, there's a channel of, uh, at least there's a connection I can put you. But if you just come, I don't know, even Shangongo is not there. Out. Hallelujah. You can't be connected to God. You are not connected to Christ. How did you go there? Amen. Amen. You can't be a child, a, a daughter or a son of fresh aroma when you are not connected to our spiritual man. How did you get here? <laughs> Hallelujah. So you have to obey the commandment of the Lord for you to sit under the tree of life. Hallelujah. Let's persevere in prayer. And let's serve him diligently. Hallelujah. As soldiers of Christ. And let's give. Let's start giving. Let's start doing the sacrificial giving to the Lord. Amen. Amen. May God bless his word. Let's rise up and pray. We are lifting our